We all know of Soham's prized possession, Project Laura, which in its current form, stage 2, is a pretty impressive car. We've all seen what has been done to the car and what it is capable of. This LoRa though, dare I say, is close to the summit of what all you can do to the LoRa platform. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Drivers Hub. My name is Bhavneet Vaswani, you're watching Auto Culture and this is a Stage 3 1.8 LoRa TSI. Yes, this is the 16th video on our channel about a Skoda Lora and we are not even ashamed because the modification potential with the Lora is literally endless. Heck, we have a whole series of building a Lora from scratch. Let it be diesel or petrol, the Lora is a very tuner friendly platform but if you go down the petrol route, you can make a monster that can put some thoroughbred sports cars to shame. But before you jump on the bandwagon, we want to give you a gentle reminder that the LoRa, although can be acquired for some super cheap prices, is a car that is basically a cheaper alternative to a BMW 3 Series or an Audi A4. So the spare parts and service charges are going to be in that same level. You will understand this when you have to pay around 30,000 rupees for an AC control unit. Trust me, we have first-hand experience. Yep, and when it comes to performance parts, best believe you are going to be in for a real shock too. Let's start from the shocks itself. Uh, this car is set up in a Bilstein B12's Pro Kit, which comes with lowering springs from IBAC and the stance is less staggered than Soham's. Now it's quite flat. Uh, apart from that, that costs around 1.5 lakh rupees. The brakes too are uh, D2's 8 piston calipers on the front and uh, rear slotted discs from EBC at the rear. That full kit again would cost around 1.5 lakhs. The affordable part of the aesthetic setup is the Lenzo rims. Those are around 70k. Call them affordable at your own risk. When it comes to design, let's just go through it because there's not much to talk about it. The owner has put a Mark II VRS front bumper and a rear boot spoiler made out of carbon fiber. And oh, you've got a Borla Boomers exhaust as well. Wanna take a listen? Before I tell you guys everything that's going on under this hood, I'd like to tell you guys that we've come out with our brand new website with a new segment called TDH Classifieds where you can list your own cool, quirky, tuned car and also find the right audience for it. You can also buy it from us at a very affordable price. Since we are on the topic of Loras, we have two very cool ones listed for sale on TDH Classifieds. This super rare VRS in race blue and a proper stage 2 Lora TSI. Don't worry about the transportation and paperwork if you are someone looking to buy any of our cars and want to transfer it to a different state. So head over to TDH Classifieds and buy yourself the car you've always wanted. Under the hood is where things start getting pretty yummy. Uh, just like Soham's car, this has a carbon fiber, fiber cross, air intake and R8 ignition coils and that's where the similarities end. You've got a KSM fat huge downpipe and an intercooler also from KSM. You've got a K04 turbo which is just bigger and the turbines inside are more aggressive to push in more air into the engine and you've also got a forge blow off valve which creates some drama and drama is exactly what this car delivers. Obviously, after a turbo upgrade, the car's ECU had to be remapped. So now, this car has an APR Stage 3 tune that pushes out around 310 bhp. It's been dynoed, so I can confidently tell you it's been three, it's 310. Now, all of that power only to the front wheels uh, sounds a bit stupid and uh, it would be. But to support all that power now, you've got a mechanical LSD. That upgrade costs around 2 lakh rupees. And I mean, the gains are pretty worth it because now while entering in a corner and chucking it quite aggressively, the car stays pretty flat because the LSD also works alongside with all of the new suspension and makes the car feel 
very very poised in a corner also because you're pushing out so much power at the exit when you actually punch the car in the exit that you can feel the lsd actually clawing its way through each individual wheel to find the most grip possible and to keep you away from the side walls and what this car is overall in terms of handling is quite a dirty car and a very nice car to drive in the corners but it feels slightly unnatural to have such a long car be so athletic now also all of this power needs to be handled by the gearbox and usually if you have a lot of power and a gearbox that cannot handle it that thing is definitely going to explode so now the clutch has been upgraded to a stage 3 clutch so that it can handle all of that relentless power so now when you put your foot down and just play through the gears the gearbox handles it and it and you can feel it working through your foot the bite of the clutch is just a little bit heavier but it is very nice you do feel the biting point very nicely and i mean as i'm driving it for the first time i'm not like slipping any gears it is very very forgiving all around the car is super forgiving even when you are sending it throughout plus when you actually drive it and stamp your throttle on the on the floor the turbo feels very linear now i would i was expecting it to just be a slap in your face with a little bit of lag but actually till 2000 rpm it is laggy but once you hit spool it is very linear 2 3 4 5 comes very progressively and it feels very confidence inspiring loving it Now if you add up all of these modifications that we mentioned everything from the VRS bumper to the new K04 turbo the bill adds up to a ridiculous 10 and a half lakh rupees approximately and if you think about it it makes sense because you don't want to be pushing 310 horsepower out of your lora without having the suspension to back it up and more importantly the brakes each and every part of this build is essential so skipping anything is literally risking your life and others Now this might not be your daily but what if you're searching for is an unassuming car to go really fast on the weekends a souped up Skoda is a very good option but this stage 3 1.8 Lora TSI takes that formula all the way up to 11 I say we start a GoFundMe page for so um to get his car to stage 3 do let us know in the comments down below what is the top speed of this car and the top comment or the closest comment will get pinned in the comments thank you so much for watching my name is Bhavnish Vaswani see you in the next one